Hey, this is Glover Teixeira, UFC Light Heavyweight Champion. Hi, I'm Robbie Lawler. What's up, Fight Family? This is your favorite MMA coach, Thiago Alves, the Pitbull. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Pedro Munoz. This is Mike Brown. Guys, I am Alexey Alenik. And welcome. And welcome. And welcome. And welcome. And this is We Want One Picks. And you're watching We Want Picks. To We Want Picks. To We Want Picks. To We Want Picks. To We Want Picks. Hi, everybody from American Top Next up, at UFC Vegas 45, we have the featured fight of the evening. We have Amanda Lemos versus Angela Hill. Amanda Lemos, 10-1 and one overall. She is 4-1 and one in her last five, coming off of that 30-second knockout over Montserrat Ruiz. Angela Hill is 13-10 and 10 overall, 2-3 and three in her last five, coming off the loss to Tisha Torres. Amanda Lemos is very big for the division. She's a Muay Thai striker with fast hands, a ton of power, and she does a very good job keeping her fights at Muay Thai distance. She has five fights in the UFC and has a 100% takedown accuracy with a takedown in all of her fights except the last two where she won by knockout in the first round. Angela Hill is hot and cold. She is... Uh, a high IQ fighter who's good on her feet. She's fast. She has lots of vers versatility and volume, but no power whatsoever. When breaking down her fights, you will see that Angela beats the people she is supposed to, like Ashley Loader, and then loses to the ones she's supposed to lose to, like Tisha Torres, Michelle Waterson, Claudia Gajaya. She's the gatekeeper and a, the career barometer at this weight class. This is who you use to see how good somebody is or is not before you really invest time and money into them. She's good everywhere, but not really a dangerous threat. Her path to victory in any fight is essentially to stick and move, avoid power, and either get her own takedowns or avoid the takedowns, depending who she's fighting. Amanda Lemos is the real deal, and this fight is just set up for her in this slot to showcase who she is and turn her into a meaningful contender and uh, build some stardom behind her. Amanda has the power. She has the wrestling. She has the BJJ. She can win this fight wherever she wants to. I think she's better everywhere, and these odds, we've been saying they're crazy. These ones are correct. But, and this is a very light but, there may be a plus three and a half opportunity on Angela Hill here. If you think Angela can survive the first two rounds and sneak out a third round from Lemos, who's massive, and could potentially have cardio issues in the third round, that might be a betting opportunity. And if you don't know what that is, a plus three and a half bet is you basically buy three and a half points. And the math works out on the judge's scorecard. And the math works out to one round. You're buying one round on the judge's scorecard. So if Angela Hill loses rounds one and two, but wins the third round and you bought those points, well, then you give her another round and you get paid on that bet. It's lesser odds than money line, but if you're getting plus 300 on money line and you buy three and a half points, you'll get plus 200. So if you think Angela Hill can win a single round, that's a phenomenal bet. And you are only going to get that bet at wewantpicks.com slash bets. We have five partners. Bet online is the partner that offers that. Make a deposit, make that bet or any other. Let me know and I will send you $50 as a thank you. Jacob, do you think Angela Hill can steal a round? I'm going to say something right now. If you say she's going to win, you're off the show. And it's going to be controversial, <laughs> but I believe it in my whole heart. And you tell me if you agree or disagree. Amanda Lemos is the Conor McGregor of the women's 115 division. What? Do you agree? And by I that, I mean that. her power is like sneaky. A lot of times when Conor knocks people out, it's like that knocked them out. But she has crazy power in her hands. When she hits you, it just lights out the same way Connor. And she she kind of like walks people down the same way Connor. Like and when we're talking old Connor, when Connor was good, right? How Connor would just kind of like walk people down, walk people down, and then boom, boom, and then they're on the ground. She does the exact same thing. And like Connor McGregor, if you get her out of the first round, you really, really have a chance. So Angela Hill, you just have to survive. The first round. If you survive the first round, 
the tides will start turning in your favor and you can start working all your volume, maybe get her on the ground, you know, use some grappling, uh, just, you know, just kind of piece her up because she will gas. So you got to survive the first round. But like Conor McGregor early in his career, a lot of people don't survive that first round. So I think it's going to all come down to that first round. If Lamos finishes her, which I think she's very capable of doing, then it's going to be her all the way. But I agree with you. If Angela Hill gets out of that first round, and this could be one of those live uh, bets, you know, pay attention to our, our Twitter accounts or whatever Saturday night. If this looks like, you know, Amanda or, or uh, um, yeah, it looks like Angela is kind of turning the the, the uh, tide in the end of the first round, she could be with opening odds at minus 380. If Lamos is hitting her in the first round, but doesn't finish her, those could balloon up to Angela Hill could be a plus 700 plus 800 plus 900. And we know that the gas tank issues are there. So this could be so, uh, an interesting live bet situation. I'm going to play Lamos all the way and just hope and just think that she's probably going to get the knockout finish. But uh, Amanda Lamos, the Conor McGregor of the women's 115 division. So a couple things. So we, we are aligned with how dangerous Amanda Lamos is, but how Angela Hill could be live if she survives later. I don't know if I'm going to do that plus three and a half bet. I got to see what those odds are. I may do that because I agree. If Angela Hill can survive an early onslaught, which she is tough, she could potentially steal a third round. I don't know if she'll steal the second, but she could potentially steal the third round. That's all we need. But what I do like that you said is the live betting because this could be a Clay Guida situation where Clay Guida just a few weeks ago was almost knocked unconscious, somehow survived. The, then people live bet the crap out of him, and then he came back to dominate. Well, that's last week I hit that Dominic Cruz live bet because you could kind of see the tide turning. Dominic Cruz yeah. survived that, that early onslaught. And then you could see was winning the striking exchange with Pedro. I actually was like clicking, clicking, clicking. I could see the odds going boom, boom, boom. When I looked at it, Dominic Cruz like a plus 300. I was like, no, no, no. And I got him out for uh, plus 209 and ended up hitting that bet. So this, I agree. This is one of those situations to monitor. Yeah, it may be a live bet. And Hustle Hog said Lemos first round discussion over. So that's why live betting is amazing because you don't get the first round knockout. All of a sudden, you're not out any money because you didn't take the flyer on Angela Hill. But... You didn't get the knockout out of Lemos, Lemos either, so potential there. Uh, DraftKings, $9,500. I do think Amanda Lemos is worth it. I mean, I, I mentioned Angela Hill's tough and could potentially steal around if it goes that far. But Amanda Lemos, you know, if she wins, she's going to win early and, and put up some solid points. You don't agree with that. Uh, no, she's going to be in my line for sure. I think she gets a first-round knockout. I'm just saying that if, if Angela Hill can survive the first round, she's got a shot. Yeah. Um, and then the monkey knife fight strike line, I, I got to go less. I got to go less on Amanda because if Amanda cracks Angela Hill 78 times with the power that she has, there could be a real problem there. But Angela Hill's got solid volume. If she's able to survive, she'll blow past the 64 and pour it on or potentially stop an exhausted Lemos. It's probably less, less, honestly. What do you think of the monkey knife fight strike line? I would play less, less. Yeah, it's probably less, less. Um, yeah, that's probably the safest play for Monkey Knife Fight. If you want to do that three and a half bet, we want picks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, let me know. I'll send you $50. You want to play a little Monkey Knife Fight, a little daily fantasy, give it a try. We want picks.com slash MKF. Sign up there, they will instantly match your deposit. Use the free deposit money. You'd put in 100, they'll give you 100, use 20, 20, who cares? Use the free money. Don't use your real money. Use the free money. Play some of these strike lines. Play Knockout King. See if you like it. If you don't, who cares? It was their money, not yours. If you do, great. Hopefully you win and you can keep winning with their money. Before you go, do not forget about our Discord. We have a full Discord server and it is 100% free, just like all of our other content. We never charge you for anything. The Discord link is in the description of this video. Go there, share your thoughts, learn from other people, and participate in the conversation. You guys love to argue in the comment section. Take that to the Discord server. It is 100% free, and the link is in the description underneath this video. Also, this is the last fight card of the year, so don't miss out on your opportunity to get 50 free dollars from us. 50 bucks for free, all you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets, choose one of our five or all of our five betting partners, sign up, make a deposit, let me know, and I'll send you 50 bucks. Literally, 
Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want your free money. Sign up, make a deposit. Each book offers their own pros and cons. Each book has good things, has things that they can improve on, but there's five of them. So pick your spot, make a deposit, let me know. We'll send you 50 bucks. It's that simple. We'll see you guys this weekend. Enjoy the fights. Don't forget to go to the Discord. Don't forget to sign up with one of our betting partners.